Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome once again to beautiful Santee Lakes. We are going to do the maiden run of the Mozilla 400. Now, Oliver Zeiss has been waiting a long time for this maiden. He's been waiting a long time, so let's see what happens. I might want to put the longer rudder on it. Might want to put turn fins on it too. Ah, I can't see it in the glare. Hello, where is it? Yeah, a longer rudder. I have one, fortunately. turn fins longer rudder and turn fins the rudder is plenty effective with prop wash on it but let off the prop or go left Let's check temps. This is the only battery I have for this boat. Oh, it has reverse on it. How cool is that? <laughs> it fills up the flood chamber. Let's, uh, Do a self writing check. Self-writing doesn't work. <clears throat> Jet out. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the second run of the Micro Drifter. I'm gonna put it in here and walk over there so I have the sun at my back. Actually, maybe I'll just, no, I'll put it in here. It's cleaner, it's cleaner. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Everything is all of a sudden backwards. That's a negative throttle. I didn't index my speed control properly.
So I'm giving it reverse right now. Jet out. Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to the southern wing of the Stink Bug Works. We're doing after run maintenance on the micro drifter. And as you can see, I have one strut disassembled. This is the one thing I don't like about this style of strut, and it's right here in the prop shaft. There's a step on it. So the prop shaft will not pull out this direction. It has to pull out that direction. So if you want to lubricate this shaft, which I recommend every time, you have to break this thing down every time. It's a bit of work, but um, it's not that difficult. And you know you get a good product in the end. Now, I'm going to grease this puppy up, and I might run it tomorrow. I might run it next year, but it'll be ready to go. And you notice it's sitting on my little dryer thing that has a fan that just blows air into it, just so as I'm working on it, it'll dry out. And then if I do have a boat that's particularly wet, I'll let it sit on that overnight. So uh, just some thoughts this thing ran pretty good. The, the second run, I had issues with my throttle. I plugged everything in and then waited too long and probably didn't hear the uh, speed controls beeping at me, telling me to do something. So they went and did their own thing without, uh, without uh, my input. So everything was backwards the second time around. Uh, had some issues with the sun making it hard to see. But all in all, it seemed to run pretty good. The second run, I was actually horsing it around a bit to see if I could get it to flip. And I eventually did, you know, real close to shore, just to see what would happen. So kind of testing the limit of things. This rudder, um, I have another one on order that's uh, all silver. Maybe I'll trim that that one stick it in in here and see if, if a shorter blade makes any difference i can swap blades but uh, that's my thought on this the thoughts on the the mozilla 400 i'm thinking it could use uh turn fins but dot 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 um since it has that central rudder mounted so far back it could do the same thing as a turn fin, provided it were deep enough. Now, I'm running the real shallow rudder on that one. Uh, next time out, I'll run the deeper rudder, see what happens, and then decide if I want to put uh, turn fins on that little tiny transom. So, one thing at a time with that. Secret Project X. Um, Secret Project X is going to need a bigger speed control. That's all there is to it. Uh, either that or the batteries I had just didn't have the punch it needed. Uh, when I gave it throttle, it just went into uh, low voltage cutout. So either the batteries weren't putting up enough or, more likely, the motor, which is maybe a little higher KV than I should have started with, um, Maybe the motor uh, just drew too much current and the little speed control said, no, thank you. So uh, I'll do some uh, sp speed, some ESC ectomies on that and see if I can get uh, better results. Or I may just swap to a lower KV motor. We'll see. Um, so there you have it, boys and girls. Until next time, jet out.